नमस्ते टू एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अतुल स्वामी वंस अगेन वेलकम यू टू आर चैनल कैटेपिलर म्यूजिक विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू शेयर सम सिंपल एंड बेसिक फैक्ट्स ऑफ म्यूजिक फ्रेंड्स समटाइम ऑर दी अदर वी ऑल वॉन्ट टू प्ले सम सॉन्ग्स ऑन एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट मे इट बी गिटार और हारमोनियम और एनी अदर इंस्ट्रूमेंट देर आर फ्यू सजेशन विच आई वॉन्ट टू मेक वन नंबर वन इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सजेशन एंड दैट इज प्ले दी ओरिजिनल सॉन्ग ऑन anything may be mobile or tv or your system and sing along it is extremely helpful it is going to help us teach us in many ways that even we can't really make out so play the original song and sing along with it a number of times number 1 number 2 if we bifurcate song in major parts we would discover that there are five major parts where we can divide the constituents of a song number 1 is beats number 2 is tempo number 3 is poetry number 4 is scale and number 5 is the composition the arrangement of the instruments friends today with an example we will try to understand how beats tempo and poetry go hand in hand so let's come friends any song to my knowledge may it be hindi or english or any other language is made up by repeating a pattern of beats a pattern of beats which is given names either that pattern is a six beat pattern or a seven beat pattern or an eight beat pattern certainly there are lot of different patterns not just these three but in understanding how these patterns work and how we can uh, write them so in consecutive videos also we would take some more examples but uh, starting from today we will take an example of an old hindi movie song which is a very famous song ramaiya vastavaiya and uh, if uh, anyone has not heard the song please do listen to it it is really going to help us out in understanding how these uh, pattern or uh, and beats work so the song ramaiya vastavaiya is basically a six beat pattern song six beat the six beats gets repeated in the song from starting till the end six beat means you can take it like a table of uh, six Six one the six, six two the twelve, and you know six three the eighteen, and then twenty four. So it it goes like six 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 six. One two three four five 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 six. There is no missing in the counting. It goes at an equal time interval. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. That's an equal interval. If the interval changes. we call it the tempo changes in hindi six beat pattern is known as dadra and uh, the six beats have got different bowls right first beat is known as dha second beat is known as dhin third beat is known as na fourth dha fifth then sixth na dha dhin na dha tin na how the song is written how the song is composed on these six beats let's uh, see that have a look at it from the third beat the song actually starts r on fourth comes mai fifth comes ya and sixth comes the sound of a ah, which is coming from ya that extends then first beat comes vas second beat ta and a ah, sound of a ah, extends to third beat and then fourth beat comes vai and fifth beat comes ya and then again a ah sound extends to the sixth note and then to the first and then to the second then again on the third r mai ya just like the above one vas ta vai ya like 
the earlier it was if i sing along with the beats it be like ramayya avastha vayya ramayya avastha vayya ramayya avastha vayya ramayya avastha vayya great friends then from the third beat it comes maine dil tujhko diya right the a sound which goes from one note to the other according to the composition but it takes 1 2 3 4 4 beats ya is taking 4 beats maine dil tujhko diya maine dil tujhko diya ramaiya this is the way how we can write this song which is a composition on a 6 beat now understanding another song taking another example of 6 beat we will just move ahead from the same movie friends uh, here we are going to take another example from the same movie and the song is dil ka hal sune dil wala this is again a very famous song and if anyone there has not heard the song i would highly recommend that do check the song out listen to it it's an amazing song and this is also a song composed on 6 beat pattern as i shared that any song in any language is a, you know made up by repeating the same beat pattern may it be 6 beat or 7 beat or 8 beat or any other beat so the earlier example was also from the 6 beat pattern and uh, this next example is also from the 6 beat pattern there is a slight one difference and we would discuss that difference later on it starts like first beat it comes dil second beat it comes ka and third beat the sound of a which is coming from ka that uh, goes till the third beat dil ka 1 2 3 dil ka hal su 4 5 6 hal su ne ne it comes on the first beat once again dil wala la a is occupying two beats then uh, the composer has the composed it on the first and second beat then a miss on the third beat fourth fifth again it comes and sixth there's a miss and this whole repeats again dil ka hal sune dil wala seedhi si baat na mirch masala keh ke rahega kehne wala dil ka hal sune dil wala friends to the whole composition in every song the beat goes with the same time duration in between the two beats 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 the same time goes throughout the song and the lyrics keeps changing sometimes uh, the lyrics repeat also according to the composition now if you have understood uh, this whole writing format you might have a question in your brain that why this song is being started from the first beat first matra in hindi we call it matra why this song is started from the first matra and in the earlier song that got started with the third matra why why is it so uh, here we need to understand something that music goes very deep and we need to be a little patient with our own selves you know as we have understood that each matra has got a different sound right it's a different sound dha dhin na dha tin na right different bowls are there when you play them on tabla or pakhavaj or dholak different sounds are going to come as a composer you know the person who composed the songs 
it was his decision that whether he wanted to start the composition from first matra from first beat or second beat or third beat or fourth fifth or sixth beat and in this song he chose to start from the first beat and in the earlier song he chose to start from the third beat and the day you will compose your own song or i will compose my own song certainly we will have this liberty to make a choice whether we want to start from the first beat or second or third or fourth or fifth or sixth but this song has to be written like this you can't start it from second beat or third fourth or fifth you have to start it from beat number 1 and the earlier one you have to start it from beat number 3 now a logical question might come from lot of you how do we recognize how do we figure it out that a song is going to start from first beat or second beat or third beat or fourth fifth or sixth which beat way to start i would say just be a little patient certainly you would figure this thing out practice practice uh, plays a big role right so initially be a little patient with yourself understand how the song is written i hope you have understood the poetry right dil ka hal sunne dil wala if you put in any extra words there in the poetry it will be a challenge for the composer to incorporate in the same beats it will be very difficult right or if you reduce some words then the composition is going to be a little different i hope you found this video informative and enjoyable and soon we will come up with more videos of uh, different beat patterns and uh, this journey is uh, going to be very interesting see you soon uh, hello friends i am atul swami and i really want to say thanks to everyone who has subscribed shared and liked my videos in future i'll definitely come up with some more interesting videos if there is anything you want to share please do type in the comments box in these corona days keep distance be safe use mask as much as possible take care of yourself see you soon bye